Hey guys, Kiki the Gamer, come back with another episode on the channel. And in today's episode, we're going to go over how competitive the nipple deck can be and whether or not it's like, I guess, a competitive team still. I know it was like a week ago when they first got released the figures and everybody found out. Now, with everybody adapting, is it still usable? Um, and we're going to go ahead and check that out. Tonight, I will be streaming Duel if I don't get home from work too late. And I'm going to be grinding out the gym cup. That's why I'm not doing a gym cup video at the moment. I'm doing um, just a regular league grind video. Uh, and then tonight it will be a full out gym cup grind. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let's jump into it. First thing I notice is that he's running Ultra Beast. Which could be pretty difficult. Uh, the Poil Pull. The Necrozma and the Celebi are going to be the easiest ones to take care of with the nipples. Um, and, okay, long throwing it in. Which one am I most likely not going to be mad about if I get rid of would be the Abra. And you're doing that crap. Cool. Good to know. Go ahead, send him here. That'd be funny. You're going to send him down to the entry point. No, you're not. Okay. Uh, I need to go after you right away. I'm going to land my 150, and we should be good. Or Moonguy's Beam. Anything but the Photom. That works. So now I don't have to worry about that. Good start. Go ahead and move you there. You're going to go ahead and take over the entry point, most likely. That, I guess, would be, would be interesting, too. That would be okay. We're going to go ahead and set that up. He's probably going to take over this entry point. And in that case, I'm going to just... Oh, Max arrived. Just gonna move out. I want to get the nipples gold, I think. Right now. I think that could be a good option for me. And the big thing is just to take out this, this uh, Faramosa. I don't want him in there. X speed. Okay. I respect that. But. Oh! <laughs> Nice. We are going to not risk it because it's not going to work just yet. But we are going to go after his Poyo Pole next turn with Abra and hope for that teleport if we can. Or if he puts his Celebi. I think I'd rather go after the Celebi. So let's see what his choice is. Um, X Speed. You're going to go after my Abra. Yep, yep, you are. Please land my blue. I would love to land my blue, or for you to land your miss. No. Trash. Just gonna move up then, whatever. I do wanna bring back the Abra though. I just wanna take over the entry point to be honest. Entry point, mine, all good. Actually, I need to knock out that Poyo Pole. That's the, that's the game plan. And no move. Because you can't go after him, and you will. We have our Alakazam set up in a great spot for a, um, a Z move, to be honest. That's probably where I want to go with this. Let's. Okay. Do it. Hold on. Does that Celebi get weight then? He will get weight. So we're just gonna go ahead and go block with him. And then most likely you're gonna see that Poyo pull take over the entry point. Nope. Oh, you messed it up. You weren't supposed to do that. Alright then. We're gonna go ahead and bring out the Abra again. I want to make an, yeah, let's make, let's make an approach of Abra. No reason why for him not to go after the Celebi right now. Yup. No Moongeist and we'll be good, or if I land my blue, or you land Moongeist, you suck. Alright, we're just going to have to be aggro right now. It's going to have to work. 
Uh, I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be the best spot to put him at the moment. Oh no! You're just gonna surround kill him and win the game. Well, that was dumb. There's nothing we could do. Wow. Okay. I completely messed that one up totally. All right, let's hop into game two. All right, got the game number two ready. And we're going to set 3700 players, so let's do this. He's got two Elon flutes. And he's, he's got the plate for the, the Shaman. Interesting. Normally don't see that that often. He's got a flying deck, which is going to pretty much not counter, but I can't jump over any flying types with the Victini, I believe. Is this ability? And you know, over non flying types. Yep. So I'm going to have to defend a little bit more. Oh, I don't want to defend with Alligator. Damn. Don't jump over me. Don't jump over me. Good. We want to defend with Necrozma because we want Alakazam to be able to be scooped up. And if he's not going to be able to get scooped up, that's not good. So let's do this. And I really want to go after his uh, Latias with Celebi. I think that's going to be a really good matchup for me. Burn him if you can. Okay. Let's just go right after him. He's going to land 140, 120. Fly away. Damn. Uh, so you're going to go there. You're going to take over entry point so that you don't get surround killed. You're going to ahead take over my entry point now. So that I can't get out my other Victini. No, you're not. Cool. I'm actually going to go ahead and max revive my Victini. And then I want to get him gold and then go after, I guess the Altaria would be like the best option for it. Honestly, or I mean Shaman, maybe, but I would, no, he would need to land his gold. That's the only tricky situation with that one. Double chance. Feeny. Can I just burn the Feeny? That would be amazing. So I don't have to worry about that Pony Wish. Where did the Archie lands miss again? Muddy Water. Pony Wish. Damn it. Well, rip that. Let's go right after his Latios. Fly away. And the problem is, can't, can't the Latios, the, the Mega... D doesn't that counter it, pretty much? Is the annoying part. Stop landing flyaway. Land your 120 plus. <laughs> no, the mega. Or it only brings back not banished, but ultra space. So it would sound about right. Altarianite. Oh, no, 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 Can I land my purple? My blue, my blue, my blue. Please land the blue. I would love for you to land blue. That, I guess, works too. I haven't seen that. I could easily, he could easily get knocked out by my Celebi. I'm going to move back. Have him go up against, uh... Yeah, have him go up against him. That's fine. Can I burn him? No, no, no. All right, here's the deal. We're gonna have you land your, my blue. Thank you. And now we don't have to worry about that. We need to not get his figures back. Let's go. Very nice. Except for now that these guys have final song markers and I can't do anything about it. But, He's not gonna land his flyaway, he's gonna land the 140, 120. Nice, 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 nice. And bye bye to the Latios. 
Technically, that's an exclusion piece, so I don't think you can bring it back. The only way you can bring it back is with the Altaria, or with, of course, the... Uh, no, not Altaria anymore, but, uh... Um... The plate that he has. Um... Elon Fluke. All right, we're gonna have, it's gonna be a three on four. We just need to knock out two of his mons and we're good. If one of those mons, if both of those mons can be the um, Alec uh, Amphros, that'd be great. And I don't have to worry about anything other than, can I actually turn to you? No, I can't jump over you, why did I do that? And land your Harrison? Let's just get this going. I don't need Parasong, that sucks. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and slingshot you up. Oh, he used the recycle plate, so then, oh no. He could use a Mega Altaria again. Honestly, if I could just land the blue against him again, that would be amazing. Purple, blue, purple, blue, 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 please, blue. I need the blue. You went after him? Fun. I freaking swear, dude. I freaking swear. Uh, you're gonna land. I'm gonna land my blue. I'm gonna land my blue. No! Shoot! That's not what I wanted. Damn. I mean, the Feeny is the worst part because he took out one of my guys, but the Latias, I don't really care about that. I'm gonna get Amphros. Him I can go after. I'm not really worried about him. But if I can land my blue, I mean, that would be amazing. Oh wait, he had Final Song Marker. Heh! I guess that works. Let's see. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, that was dumb. He's can surround kill me now. Or not. Just gonna do that. Then we could jump right over. Mm -hmm. Oh, he still has the Mega Altaria. The Mega Amphor. Oh, that's smart. Shattering Psyche. Can I just burn him, please? Please just let me burn him. Nope. And I do have a gold block. I do have to be to work in 12 minutes. But we have time. You have a goal block. No goal block for you. So we gotta be aggressive here. I got this. And the reason why I'm doing this, if he goes and attacks, I'm not really too worried about it. The only thing that can kill me is a Pony Wish here. And I have a Mega Evolution. I have a Z move. So if I could hold on this turn, and I'm going to, I think I just won the game. Because I doubt his, uh, yeah, I, th I, I won the game. Right? Oh no, he could put down the plate and use him. Maybe he doesn't see it. He's got to see it. He didn't see it. 
GG's. Wow. Okay, so leave it in the comments below. Do you think Nipple Deck is still relevant, still good enough to run in league and be at a high level? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Hold on just a second. We're gonna go ahead and pop this open because I don't need gems anymore. I'm just gonna spend all my gems. I'm gonna try to save up to like a thousand gems and do something with that, I don't know. Uh, but let's see, who are we gonna pull? Oh, I just started it. We're just gonna open it immediately because why not? And let's see, who will we get? Buzzwold. We got a UX figure. Let's go. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. And until next time, peace out, Geek Squad.